actually filming this intro after I just filmed my outro, which is a really weird feeling to me, but here we are. My dog is snoring. Sup, dudes? <laughs> Since I started YouTube, a lot of you guys have actually asked um, about my makeup and my makeup routine and what products I use and since I've heard it a lot I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna put it out for you guys I hope you guys enjoy it um, I hope that you're able to learn something or you're able to get the knowledge that you wanted out of me I am NOT a professional at makeup. I have just been doing this same makeup routine literally since high school probably before i have only used very similar colors all of my life i've only ever done winged eyeliner that's actually a lie when i first started with eyeliner i used to do real thick like no wing um and then once i hit high school i started to do wing and then i took a break from it in freshman year college because i got lazy but then i went back to it but it was fine because my wings sucked <laughs> in freshman year college and I've gotten like way better at doing wings. So I like to think that I've improved on my own makeup skills, but then again, I am not a professional. I'm aware that some of the things I do are not right or not correct. So um, this is just how I do my makeup. I just want to get that out there. concealer that I use is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 hour concealer in the shade Light Cool Peach and I basically just put that under my eyes, under my nose, and then any spots I might have. And then I just use my beauty blender again and I just, I was gonna say buff it out, is that the correct term? I forgot the one on my forehead. And now that that is all done, I use the CoverGirl Clean Professional um, Loose Powder. It's in the shade 105, which is translucent fair. And I just kind of put that all over my face to kind of like hold in the foundation and concealer that I just put on. Um, yeah, uh, it feels like there's a cat hair in my, oh, there is. And now instead of just continuing my face makeup and going straight for my contour and stuff, I jump right to my eyes and then I come back to my contour later. I've gotten a lot of questions about my eye makeup and honestly, um, I've been doing the same eyeshadow look for years now. I literally don't change up my makeup. I did for a little bit used to do a cut crease look where like I followed it all the way out to my wing, but then it was just, that was too much work for me. So I switched back to what I usually do. And honestly, I have used so many different palettes and so many different shades of like browns and like shimmery, like golds to, um, golds to like nude colors that honestly any brown and any like shimmery color that you have would work because I've literally used I think every single one under the book I like I said I don't change up my makeup routine if I run out of the colors that I'm using I just go find another one I usually don't get the same one I don't know but right now the colors that I mix are from the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and as you can see I've used this palette quite a lit <laughs> quite a lit quite a lot but only the shades that are like, this was marzipan, this one was a shimmery gold that I used for a while, um, and then browns and stuff. I don't really ever dip into the fun colors. Sometimes I do, very occasionally, but um, the two colors that I mix for my dark brown part of my eyeshadow are milk chocolate and triple fudge, and then I just kind of tap off the excess. And then I, oh wait, wait, oh my god, I almost forgot a step in my own makeup tutorial, oh my god. I use the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, jeez louise, how could I forget it? And I just put it all over my lid and pat it in with my finger, trying to be gentle. And then I just use the same translucent powder just to set it in. If you only put on eyeshadow primer and you don't set it, your eyeshadow is going to come off your face. So going back to the milk chocolate and uh, triple fudge, I just put it, I kind of start up in like the upper corner. I don't know what I'm saying, but I hope you guys can see. I start up here and I kind of bring it down, kind of in like a slanted formation like that. And then I just take it from that corner and kind of go up. 
kind of making like a little bit of a V. Now I know that I should use a um, transition shade and I used to, but I don't anymore. And now I just kind of blend that out until I'm happy with it. So now going to the shimmery shade. Like I said, I've used a bunch of different shimmer shades, so any one that you have would be fine. But the current one that I'm using is in the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. I got this during Christmas of last year, I think? No, Christmas of a few years ago because I had this in college. Huh, I don't know how old this is. I don't know if you can still get it. But the color that I use is this one right here. As you can see, I've used up all of this one and now I'm gonna go to this one. And my next one after this will probably either be this one, this one, or this one. Like I said, I'm not picky. I just pick a new shimmer shade and just throw it on my lid. And now I kind of just pack that into everywhere that the, the brown isn't. And I also, I pack it on. I don't swipe it on. So I found that it stays better if you just kind of press it into the lid. But yeah, that's really it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my other lid now. And now I'm gonna be moving on to eyeliner. The eyeliner I've been using most of my life is the Physician's Formula in Very Black. Uh, or no, Ultra Black, sorry, Ultra Black. Their black shade isn't black enough, so that's why I use Ultra Black. And basically what I do is I start at my bottom lid and um, I kind of draw a little line right there and then I just kind of start taking it upwards. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Sorry, I can't talk when I do that. And then I go up from the top of it or like leaving a little bit of a tail end. I start there and then I just bring it down. just like that and then I fill it in and now I'm gonna do the bottom eyeliner so basically I just take a small line across my bottom lid I have to do this literally like an inch away from my um, mirror so if you can't see I'm really really sorry I'm just gonna go ahead and do the second eye and I'll be right back that is it for my eyeliner now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to lashes. The lashes that I use um, pretty recently are the TARDIS Pro lashes in Girl Boss. Um, they're like my new favorite pair of eyelashes to use. I don't know if you can kind of see or not, but they do have a really thick band and the ones that I have been using like pretty much for like years now are just the Ardell uh, 113s. I just get them at Target. They're like the wispies, I think. Those are the ones I'm gonna be using today just because they are a little bit easier and a little bit quicker to put on. I'm still not used to the thick band that Girl Boss has. Although I would say that I do like the Girl Boss lashes better than these. I like how they look better, but I will still switch off. It just depends on how much time I wanna to commit to my lashes that day. I will say that the nice thing about these Ardell lashes is that the band is so small that if you can get used to putting it as close to your lash line as absolutely possible, people will think that they are your real lashes. I have gotten so many compliments on my eyelashes since I started wearing these. People aren't sure if they are my lashes or fake lashes and then when I tell them that they're fake lashes, they're like, oh my gosh, they look so natural. You put them on very well, I couldn't tell. So. If that's something that you guys want, if you guys want to be able to be like, yeah, they're mine. Um, these, these not so much, they're a little bit thicker, like I said, but they do have like a nicer effect in my opinion. But yeah, it just depends on what you like. These are just a little bit more natural looking. So then I do put on mascara after that and I've been using the same mascara like literally all my life. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume um, in the uh, waterproof kind because I don't like to cry and have makeup run all over my face. And I do put this on my top and bottom lashes. So now that my eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move to my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. I know I say that brand wrong. My eyebrows are something that, I don't know, they are just not, 
the best sometimes. Some, most of the times my eyebrows have a mind of their own and usually um, I have one bad eyebrow and one good eyebrow but it switches off which one's the bad one and which one's the good one like all the time every few weeks it's it's changed right now this is my bad eyebrow but it's starting to change into what I want it to do so I'm assuming that the next bad one is gonna be this one I don't do anything fancy with my eyebrows I don't do that like gel up the first half of them I just put on brow stuff and I'm good to go. I don't think I look good with like very sparse eyebrows in the corner um, so that's why I do take my pomade all the way to the inner inside of my eyebrow. Oh by the way I just used like a little angled brush I forgot to tell you guys that. I also don't get my eyebrows like waxed or done or anything, which I probably should, but eyebrows are something that I've heard so many horror stories about that I'm scared to go get them done because I don't want to walk out looking like my eyebrows fell off my face or something. I know that like I could go to the person my sister goes to and she always does like a really good job. I just am so scared to take that first step and actually go to get them done because what if I hate them? I don't know like I know I can pluck mine and trim mine to a way that I like them to be so I just don't do it and then I just kind of brush them out. Um, I do also have the Anastasia Brow Wiz in blonde but it's run out so I just use the brush now to just kind of brush them into the shape I want them and that's really it. Okay and then last steps is highlighter and contour. The contour that I use is the Anastasia Contour Kit. It is actually just something that my sister didn't want anymore and she gave to me. And so now I use it. I use the, I was about to not show you, I use the middle uh, bottom shade right here. And basically I just kind of push my cheek over this way and I just follow the line that my cheek makes. Basically just like that. And then we're gonna blend it in a second. Just let me do the other side. All right, that's it. <clears throat> and now I just use the same brush that I used on my face just to blend it out a little bit. And now highlighter, I use the Too Faced Love Light in Blinded by the Light. It's just this like light highlighter shade and I highlight underneath my eyebrow and then in my inner corner with this. And now I take a bigger brush. Um, I don't know what this kind of brush is, but I use it as a highlighter brush. I think maybe it is a highlighter brush. And then I just go right over um, the contour that I just did right on top of it I should say not over it my skin is very very light so sometimes it doesn't match and sometimes I will just kind of spread over the bottom three of my contour kit and kind of blend in my neck just so that it looks like I'm one color instead of 50 the only thing that we have left is lipstick um, recently I've been using a buxom full-on lipstick in Sydney. It's just a color that I got out of Al's makeup kit when she went away uh, to school. She left it behind and I went through it and I found this. And so Al, if you're watching this, I don't think you are. Um, I'm not giving you back your lipstick, sorry. All right, um, and that's it for my makeup. I don't do anything else. Um, if anything changes, I can always make an updated video, um, but as of right now, this is what I do. This is what I've been doing for most of my life. I've just gotten a little bit better at it, a little bit better at eyeliner and blending. I used to suck at blending, and my winged eyeliner used to literally be like that, like, like just like a little tiny triangle off the side of my eye, so not saying I'm a professional at makeup, absolutely not. This is just what I do. I'm aware that I do some things wrong, um, so... I'm just showing you what I do personally for my makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this is a video that has been 
pretty highly requested or at least people have asked questions about my makeup and my makeup routine so I figured I would just film it for you guys so you guys could have it so I'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time bye everybody I hate my outro <laughs>